A quick market update for you. A lot is happening right now as we are closely watching changes in monetary policy that affect the housing market. The number of sales did fluctuate last month. This is a perfect example of how localized our market actually is. Sales were down 3.9% in Montgomery County. They were also down 8.1% in Chester County, but sales were up 4% in Delaware County, and they were also up 1.3% in Philadelphia County. Median sales prices are up between 6 and 12.5% compared to this time last year. Out of the Baltimore, D.C. and Philadelphia areas, the Philly Metro saw the highest increase in sales price year over year at 10.2%. But change is in the air when it comes to inventory. The number of new listings are outpacing sales, and this is a really significant change. We haven't seen this in quite some time. Three things that I'm watching as we enter the late spring market. Number one, active listings. We saw an increase in active listings from March to April, and it's not being driven by new homes to the market. We're seeing a slower pace in new contracts. Number two, interest rates. The rising rates have created an urgency with some buyers, but overall it has taken the edge off of demand slightly. Still, the most desirable homes are moving quickly, but instead of eight or 10 offers, maybe sellers are only getting two or three offers to choose from. And number three, demand. Rates and inflation have gotten a lot of media attention recently, but it's also important to look at the demographic and economic fundamentals as well. Experts at Bright MLS are saying that the current demographics show a strong millennial home buying population, and this demand will keep the housing market strong as we head into the second half of this year and into next year. As always, if you have any questions about this information or any other homes on the market, please reach out. I'm always happy to help.